I've wanted to make this video for so long not even just for so long but like I've just wanted to make this video to showcase what's been going on inside my brain recently I've come down with strep throat so if I sound under the weather that is why. Another thing that has been plaguing my body, more so my brain, um, is a depressive episode that I've been going through on and off for the past month and a half. It's been really hard. I haven't really had a whole lot of motivation to create content. But what they don't tell you about content creation or being a content creator in general is that even though you feel like shit, you still have to show up. You still have to be the creator that, you know, everybody adores and loves. And it's almost as if I'm performing sometimes because, yeah, I, I do love my body. And I don't even think it's about my body anymore. Like, I accept myself for my body. It's accepting myself for all of my other things that I've deemed as imperfections, like my mental health. But usually when I feel like this, um, food is my comfort. Uh, food is 1000% something that makes me feel better, something that I love, something that makes me feel whole, and just kind of simple things, like having a clean room, um, taking a nice shower, going outside and just looking at the bugs for like 30 minutes going on a walk reading staying off my phone one thing that genuinely makes me feel better and i don't know why and i can't explain it is being with herbs can't tell you why i think it's the whole nature thing you know spiritual woman over here i dried out these rose petals from a bouquet that um i had purchased and now i'm gonna grind them up in my little mortar and pestle while i watch a show and i don't know why but it, it makes me feel productive and it makes me feel happy. take a nap I feel so guilty and I don't know why like my body's telling me I need to rest I need to take a nap I have the time to like I would absolutely love to have a brain that 
told me it's okay to rest and it's okay to not be productive especially because like I'm currently sick right now even though I feel better like I'm still sick my body's still fighting off infection and I still feel so guilty for just napping and not like cleaning my room instead or like working on a brand deal I really wish I was a cat because these babies they get to nap all day and not feel bad about it somewhat better today um I really 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 need to get out of the habit of checking my phone um as soon as I get up in the morning like I've been trying to get out of that habit for I don't know how long um because it ultimately puts me in a bad mood um TikTok has been flagging all of my videos recently I don't know what the issue is what the problem is um but now i'm banned from the creator fund which is wonderful because you know i didn't even do anything wrong um but mother father sister brother motherfucker ow i'm just trying to like let go like just let go things are out of my control not my circus, not my monkeys, not my circus, not my monkeys, not my circus, not my monkeys. Things that are out of my control, I have no bother stressing so much about. I think it's more so that, like, this is my job, so I worry that, like, I'm constantly, like, gonna become irrelevant. What the fuck ever, you know? <laughs> like, who cares? Yeah, I don't know. Who cares? Who cares? Does it matter? Does not matter. Even if I do become relevant, I'll just like live in the forest and like never be on my phone again, which will honestly probably be wonderful and <laughs> really great for my mental health. So let go, let God. Period. Okay, so I'm gonna get ready today. I know, I know. I don't feel like doing anything in particularly like crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm like trying to like get out of this little rut inside my brain, especially like, I just feel so down, like so down and I wanna get out of it. You know what? Everything is awesome and perfect and wonderful and I love my life. Everything is awesome, per perfect and wonderful and I'm grateful and everything is wonderful and I love myself and I love my life and I love my friends and I love my family and everything's gonna be okay no matter what. I need to get out of this little bubble that I put myself in and I just need to be thankful for what I have. There. and then this little Starbucks drink that I got but I'm feeling in a good mood I'm like so happy and like just like 
I feel so pretty. I literally like could not look at myself in the mirror for like three days the other day. But now I'm like, girl, you are so beautiful. Oh, God. These mood swings, girl, these mood swings are not doing it for me. They're not fun. They're absolutely fucking criminal. I literally feel like I'm at the pit of someone's ass like three days ago. And now I'm standing up like, oh my God, I'm so happy. I love myself. Yay. And it hit me out of nowhere. Like, make it make sense. We're going to ride this high while we can. I think I want to go spend money. No, shouldn't do that. Maybe I should. I'm just fucking bored. Like, I'm so goddamn bored. Yeah, like, I need more clothes. Like, I need more, like, I need more clothes. Like, I need more clothes. Right. 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 Ah, fucking shit. Um, currently in line getting food. I decided that I needed to go to the pet store. I went and got cat food. I also got this really cute collar because Artemis needs a new collar because he still has his Halloween one on. I didn't even switch it over to Christmas. I just, <laughs> I just let it, I just let it go on for way too long. Um, and I'm picking up food for my grandmother right now. And I got myself an ice cream cone. <coughs> because why the fuck not, honestly? I want to say that this vlog is an absolute mess, but it is very indicative, indi indicative, indicative, reflective of a depressive episode. Um, or a manic episode. We don't really know. She needs to get screened very badly and not in like a, <laughs> a non-serious, like in a very serious way. She needs to get screened. Um, but we take pride in taking care of our mental health. Um, I just put things off, which is not good. In all seriousness here, I felt like I wanted to go to TJ Maxx, so I'm going to go to TJ Maxx because I want to organize my underwear drawer. I don't know why. I don't know what has come over me. I don't know who told me that I needed to. Nobody did. I just want to organize my underwear drawer. I want to get into my underwear drawer and see my underwear in the matching bra together. And then have little sections of like, this is my period underwear. This is my comfortable underwear. These are my sexy underwear. I just want to know. I just want it organized. Fucking Christ. Definitely being stared at right now. a little secret um i've had serious xm in my car since i bought it since i've got in the got the car i don't pay for serious xm neither do my grandparents where is this coming from yeah okay this is gonna hurt my stomach I feel it. I feel it coming. I literally am gonna like shit myself inside TJ Maxx. <laughs> like, bitch. I just wanted to get. They piled that motherfucker on top. Like, girl, if you don't g give me a lactate right now, <laughs> I'm just gonna have to buy a vlogging camera and black buy a vlogging car set up as well because i'm tired of like having to position my phone and like figure all of that out what if i told y'all i literally just bought a vlogging camera and a vlogging car set up so i could make more youtube videos your past me was literally Past me was literally manifesting my future by saying that. That is so crazy. Water has been tasting so strange recently. 
Maybe that's why I'm having a depressive episode is because there's something in the water. <laughs> I've noticed recently in order for me to go places without having crippling anxiety, um, I have to wear headphones. I think I've spoken about this before. I literally cannot go inside a public place by myself without having your AirPods in. By the way, I don't know if this is my AirPod case. I think it is. Um, my grandma said she found it outside by the mailbox in the gutter. And I know I left, I think I left my AirPod case out by the mailbox. I don't know, but I couldn't find my case for a while. So I assume that's where it is, but I never had like bite marks on mine. And now there's bite marks on my AirPods case not really sure what the hell is going on gonna go into tj maxx gonna have fun buy things <laughs> stuff okay I got a little headband because I always lose mine I did in fact lose that headband like three days later I also got an electric little razor um will I shave my face knowing that it probably will break me out yes again like I said before I wanted to organize my underwear drawer so I got these little baskets these were actually really good, pri decently priced. These were this is $10, $10. And then I think this is a set of four little storage bins. I don't know, but let's get to organizing. Yes, I'm so excited. wash my face I just finished work um, and cuddle up in bed and go to sleep I'm probably gonna eat something though cuz I'm hungry leftover Chinese food fuck yeah 